my career path before TechBridge, I have an associate's in network administration through my local community college at home. Um, I've been doing that, uh, working in that field for 10 years or so, um, all over general IT stuff and uh, wanted to do TechBridge because this is kind of like the next step in the IT journey and uh, thought it was a way to level up because we've been working on the fundamentals of Python and JavaScript has been really just the initial setup so far since we're only a few weeks in, but uh, setting up the environment for coding and everything like that was uh, exciting to kind of start off on my own machine versus working in the CoLab notebooks and things like that. Being in the group has actually really evolved how I handled um, you know, my communication working remotely for the past couple of years. I feel like I've been uh, engaged a little bit more with my team members and it's starting to kind of snowball. It's just kind of getting greater and greater as it goes on. So uh, definitely learning to uh, communicate and work with my peers a lot better through this also. The career sessions have been awesome and uh, it really opening my eyes um, to something that I was starting to see before I started this and it's just that how broad the job market is and all the different routes that you can go. Um, you know, you're not just going to come out of this and get a job being coder. There's so many different avenues that you can go and Jennifer's really exploring that with us. It's definitely a little overwhelming at first, but if you trust your instructors, you trust the personnel that's helping you, and uh, just stick with it. But David said, follow the cadence. If you stick with that, it'll eventually all start feeling like it's coming together.